Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I just did a video on how to draw this seamless pattern, but I was using this smart drawing tool. I think it's been around a while, but Live Sketch has been around since I think 2017. And Live Sketch is kind of the same. It will allow you, and you can set one second, uh, you know, drawing distance curve five, uh, curve smoothness to 50, you could probably go 75. And you can just draw with it very easily and, and draw shapes and everything and do the exact same thing and it makes shapes. And in, in doing this, you could actually, you know, in the other one, we kept making our lines uh, kind of, uh, all of them kind of touching. But this way you can do it with different objects and See how it's going to smooth that out just like we did before with the other. And I'm not, I don't use this tool very much. Uh, I probably should because it's, it's really pretty cool. But what it does, it smooths things out. And you could get a little bit maybe more detailed by doing things like this. Because you could do, you know, these interior parts, which we left out in that previous video. And if you didn't watch that uh, to figure out how to make, uh, this triangular shape, but it is pretty cool. And, you know, you just, you let your imagination run wild and do things like that. You know, you could have an arc and then come back in and do a like reverse. And once again, you wouldn't, wouldn't let two lines to be touching, but uh, life sketch is kind of keeping those apart. So we can move that over in just a second, but I'm just going to make a couple more shapes. Now you do have to continue that line. So we're going to delete that one and get back to live sketch. And you do have to go back to that node. Well, I've got a little twisted note, but in there, but we can fix that in just a second and see what I'm saying. You could go way up in here and live sketch is going to really kind of make you look like an artist uh, when doing some things. We'll just put a little drawing right in there. Now let's fix that one that's a little bit off. Probably the best way to just take the virtual sigma and delete key and delete that. And we're gonna do the exact same thing, but with the exception of this now, we need to find out how big this is. It is 14 inches. We're gonna set our nudge factor on 16 and we're gonna move that out of the way. This time we're gonna to have to group these together because we didn't have them. The other, we did it all one piece. So now I'm gonna move that back and we can use the uh, inter I always get confused. I use it so much. Let's see, get it here. The um, intersect tool, of course. Now you've got the same thing, a little bit different look. In that one, I somehow don't have a line there. Uh, you know, but that could be relatively easy to fix go up to object, group, and ungroup, and then take take this one right here away and basically smart fill that one in and move it over. Of course, we want it black, and now we want them all black, so we're going to go here and go black on the inside. Let me uh, move this out of the way, and we haven't reduced it in size yet, but control D and make a duplicate. Well, you, I should have grouped it together, but that'll work. I mean, look at this, what I'm doing. Pretty cool, control G to group it. And it's gonna be the same thing on the other end. Whoop, I didn't control D. So holding down the control button, mirror it up. Look at that. Now let's go ahead and grab this and weld it together. Then we can rotate this thing like we did before, 45 degrees. Go ahead and make it two inches. I've still got my nudge factor set on two. We're gonna to have to do the exact same thing we did in the other one. We're gonna go here, control D and make a duplicate and then move this over. Whoop, I was holding down the shape, shift tool, control D, hold down the control button and have it mirror, look at that. Now, I've got my nudge factor set on two inches, so whoop, no I don't, maybe I changed it. I got it set on 16, so let's change this to two. I really want two, even though I need to move it four, because there, there's four inch blocks, as you can see. 
Whoa. Look at that. Now control D. Let's, let's group those together. Control G, control D, and move it down. And see it's backwards. So we're gonna have to flip it to make it like that. Look at that. Control D to duplicate and move it down twice. That's a really cool seamless pattern. That would, I mean, most people would, uh, and I I didn't do anything special. Um, you know, there's those little bitty dots I put in there. I didn't take my time to even really kind of think about it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.